Hey guys, this is Gaurav. Welcome to SAS with ServiceNow. In this video, I will talk about Glide Aggregate examples. So I will show you live examples of Glide Aggregate and how exactly you can use in your ServiceNow scripting as per your requirement. Glide Aggregate enables you to easily create database aggregation uh, queries and operations. So anything which is related to count then you, ha you should you have to use uh, glide aggregate and that's called basically uh, best practices as well so in service now we have glide record and glide aggregate so glide aggregate it just it's a class that is extended from glide record so glide record is also used for database operations but in order to count anything if you if you have to just count the records in your ServiceNow system, then you should always use Glide Aggregate rather than Glide Record. You can also do counting with Glide Record, but that is not the best practice. So Glide Aggregate provided by ServiceNow, you should always use for any kind of counting. So we will see all the methods which comes under Glide Aggregate, and I will show you how exactly you can use that for different scripting. So let's take a look. I will show you the examples with fix a script. So you can write the scripts in fix a script and background as well, but the preferable method, the recommended method is fix a script. So I will go to fix a script. I will click on create new and I will give the name demo for glide aggregate. Now, for Glide Aggregate, you have to create a Glide Aggregate object first. Like we do in Glide Record, you have to create a Glide uh, Aggregate object. So, and we do with var variable, I will mention count equal to new. And here you will put Glide Aggregate and braces. And then you have to give the table name. Here you have to put the table name. So I mentioned incident. Now you have to give some conditions around it. Now there are a lot of methods for this glide aggregate. So the first method is add aggregate. So what we will do, we will do clound dot. The first method you can see when I entered dot, so it is showing me all the methods which can be used with this glide aggregate. So I have mentioned add aggregate. I will press tab on my keyboard and then I will give a parameter uh, as count so pin so it's just like it's a name of the aggregate so the count is the name of the aggregate uh, which we want to add Then I will do count dot query and I will just check that where incidence is equal to zero. I'm just declaring because I need to check the incident count. So I'm just declaring a variable with mentioning uh, as zero because it will keep on adding that value to incident. So I'm just declaring my incidence variable. That's it. And then I will use if and I will do count. So it's similar to glide record, but it is a different method just for counting. So I'm doing count dot next and I will mention incidents equal to count dot get aggregate. This time I will use get aggregate and I will also show you that what exactly it means. If I press dot, so it will show you gets the value of specified aggregate. So the, you already mentioned the aggregate, which is the count. So what we will do, we will click on grid aggregate and I will mention here count, the name which we gave in add aggregate. And then I will just do gs.print. It just to show the uh, output, that's it. The number of incidents are uh, 
I will give the same variable which we used, which we declared earlier. So that is incidence, and then I will put colon, and I will save this. So this is how you declare a glide aggregate object, and then you use add aggregate method to count the number of records in a table. I will just run this uh, fix the script, and I will click on proceed. So you can see the result, it says the number of incidents are 74. Now we have to confirm it whether I'm getting the right data or not. So what I will do, I will go to my incident table, incident application, I will go to open. Uh, as of now it is showing 51 records, but it is because it is showing active records. But I want to see all the records because we have not put in any kind of conditions. You can see we have 74 records. That means we have got the right result. So this is how you count the records in a table. Now we will go for next method. Next method is add encoded query. So how exactly we will use that? After declaring the glide aggregate object, you have to put that method. So we will do add encoded query. Here we have to uh, put the encoded query, which we will get from the incident list. So uh, let's see what exactly we can take. Um, let me take this able uh, teacher. We will show matching. Um, we will copy the query and we will put here. So I have mentioned this new method that is add encoded query. I will save this fix script. I have not changed anything. I have just added a more condition here with the add encoded query. And then I am clicking on run fix a script. I will run this and now you will have some other data. So as of now you can see it says the number of incidents are 17. And if you will see here, we have 17 records. The answer is absolutely correct. We have received the right number of records. So this was the uh, another method that is add encoded query. Next method is add not null query. So I will just comment this. Uh, so our next method is count dot add not null query. It says adds a not null query to the aggregate. I press enter. So what it will do, it will put a condition that as any field which we are which are going to mention here, it's not it's not null basically. That's that's the main uh, usage of uh, this particular method. So it says add not null query. Uh, I can put any uh, field here, but before that, we can see what field uh, will be better. Um, we can take uh, assign to maybe. So I will do uh, show matching. And you can see it says assign to is empty, right? So as of now, these incidents will not be coming. So maybe I can do one thing. I can filter it out. So it says assign to is not empty. That means assign to is not null. So I will go here and I will just put the name of the incident. So that is assign to. I will put column. After putting that, I will just save it. So I saved it. And I'm clicking on run, proceed. Let's see how much data we get. It says the number of incidents are 48. And if I go to the incident list, I am getting 48 number of its, uh, incidents where assigned to is not null. So that's a method called add not null query. Let's check another method. Another method is add null query. So, so you must have seen that we are not changing any other other syntax. We are just changing the methods. And this is how you can utilize these methods to just as per your requirement. So whatever requirement you are getting from your uh, customer, from your client, just utilize these methods and, and fulfill your requirement uh, and use these methods. 
so the next one which I'm talking about that is uh, count dot add null query that means any field which is empty so what we can do this time we can use the same field and I can mention the same field assigned to so let's save this first and I will run this fix script when I will run this it will show me other data and it's showing me the number of records are 26 now and I will go to my incident list I will click on all and this time this time I will select show matching so if I am selecting assigned to uh, and it says 26 and here the same number of records are coming that is 26 so this is how you also confirm that you're getting the right data or not so whenever you are using these kind of uh, uh, methods you have to check it with your incident list or any table list as well just to make sure that you are putting the right query so if you're working on any script or you have some you have, you're working on a scheduled jobs or any business rule make sure if you are going to uh, check glide records uh, sorry glide uh, aggregate make sure you are checking um, on the list as well just to confirm that you're getting the right number of records and your script is giving the right uh, data so um, so this is uh, the method uh, that is add null query. The next is add query that we also use in our uh, glide record. So I will just put here comment. And then I will do count dot add query. And we also use this in our, in our glide record. Um, I will see that what ex exactly what kind of records we can get. Uh, maybe you can go to the list view. Mm. 25. So let's do this. Uh, we will select state. And state is uh, 1. this and I'm going to save this it's saved I'm going to run the script it says number of incidents are 25 that means it is showing me all the incidents uh, which which have state as new and that's what we are getting here so you can see I I'm selected as state equal to new and it is giving me 25 records that means we are getting the right output with this method as well so this is the another method that is add query I am making this comment let's go to next method that is add a trend add a trend is a method which was introduced in Jakarta it just adds a trend for a field so you can put count dot add as of now I think service now has not added it in, in their script editor so it says add trend and so as as per the method the parameter which we mentioned here it's a string field name and you have to uh, mention the string time interval so what I can do I can see open underscore at that is open the time of uh, incidents and I can put comma and here you have to write what kind of time interval you want maybe you want it and the value which you have to mention here is year quarter date a week month day of week hour or value that's what you have to uh, mention here value means the exact uh, time interval uh, value as of now I will mention uh, month and we will see how exactly it gives you the data so I have mentioned month uh, it will uh, count for the same incidents add query we are doing add aggregate uh, this time when we are using this add trend we have to uh, change our syntax as well so this seems to be good 
let's let's just hide this for now we will comment this just to show you the example uh, we will comment this so I am putting the query I am also hiding this so I'm making this comment now this time I'm not going to use if I will use while and I am not going to print here I will be printing here now how exactly we want to sh see the data so basically we want to see the trend so the trend the count of records which were opened as per the month that's that's our data that's what we want as per the current uh, syntax so add uh, add trend then you have to mention the field uh, on which you have to see that trend and we want to see that trend monthly that means opened open uh, incident were opened monthly and we want to see the count of those incidents what we will do we will just do gs dot print I will start this and I will mention trend dot get ah, I am doing trend sorry I will do count dot um, get value and now this is what we need to use you have to use this uh, this this particular it's a I would say it's not this is basically get value when you put get value you have to uh, put the field name to get its value but it's kind of a uh, it's kind of a field which you have to use when you are using this add trend and you have to use it so I will show you that if you will not use this field as well we will we will see that uh, how exactly it works so I'm using time ref so this is the field it's like an on air field I would say just you to use when you are using this add a trend so I'm using count dot get value time ref and the reason it is putting those values from that month because we are putting month so it will show all the data monthly but it will show the month as well so I'm using time ref and I will put plus and I will put colon and I will do plus as well and this time I'm not using this so I will have count dot get aggregate count this is absolutely right and we will put one more brace here closing brace and this is done so this will print uh, so let's see what exactly it prints we will see the data so I will save this and we will try to change the syntax and we will see what kind of data it is giving. when I click on proceed so now you can see it is giving me the trend monthly so this time this this one which you are seeing it is opened the, the incident which were opened in the same month that so is saying 2015 18 and though and showing the counts for that particular month now I'm closing this and what I will do I will this I uh, will mention this as year so if I'm mentioning year and I am clicking on save and if I run the script again and click on proceed so now you can see it is showing me the data year wise so it is showing me 15 4 2016 four incident then 2018 66 incidents and if you will calculate all these they will be 74 and we already calculated it earlier that we do have 74 overall incidents in this particular instance as of now so you can change this value and you can get the data you can also change this value the the kind of field you you can also mention created on or uh, says updated on any field you want so it is just uh, it's a kind of a method which was given you just to use uh, just use for trending and show that to see the trend of your uh, fields or of your any table so that is the main requirement of this add trend thanks for watching my video please subscribe like and share